Hey guys, it's Connor with uh, Clone Land Services. Just wanted to make a quick little video on a topic I'm not seeing on YouTube or on the internet um, regarding case drain line modification upgrade. On uh, this is a uh, Kubota 97 2. Uh, I believe the Kubotas and the Bobcats. Both need this modification to run this Shurex HM70 SR. Uh, so when I originally inquired this, uh, made an inquiry on this head, I uh, spoke to Shurex and I uh, was just got in touch with their um, their main technician. His name is Vic. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, very knowledgeable. Um, he told me if I wanted to purchase this head and run it, I would need to upgrade my case drain case drain line all the way back to the tank. So uh, after speaking with him, he made some really good points uh, of why this needs to be upgraded, regardless, um, regardless if I buy if I bought that head or not. Uh, running any high flow uh, mulchers, any attachment, any high flow attachments. Um, uh, he says Kubota needs to upgrade these lines from factory. What came on it from factory is this steel tubing, about a three foot piece that comes ties right into that coupler, and it goes up the loader arm. And you can see right there, let me see if I turn my light on. Oh, it won't come on, battery low. I cap that. And then it just takes off with, I believe it's number six. And it goes all the way up, back to the tank. Um, <clears throat> he sent me a list on what I needed. Like what he bought at the at his hydraulic the gasket store so i just looked it over went to mine and uh what i ended up doing what it calls for um what vic is saying what it needs is what i put on it <laughs> it is a five eight not a five eight um it is a number eight hydraulic line with a half inch inner diameter um, this is kind of temporary, so don't judge me. I'll probably end up putting a fabric sleeve over this line, at least up to the arm or the the end of the loader arm where it goes in, goes down through the arm. Just give it some more protection. Um, you will need a reducer coming off the back of the factory Kubota coupler. Uh, it will reduce down to a number six. That's what I put on this end right here. Crimp to this uh, number eight line is a number six female JIC. And then the line runs up the loader arm, down into the loader arm, and then goes in this bracket, comes through this bracket, and this bracket. Just take these brackets off when you're running this line. I ran it from the tank this way. Um, raise these loader arms all the way up. That way you can access this a lot easier. There's an access can't really see it but there's an access hole right there that line runs through that access hole and goes this way and then that way to the tank so take this bracket off take this bracket off right here pull these lines the factory lines out of the way pull them back and then what I did is I ran there's my line back here I ran it to the very back and then ran it up and then you can put all this back to normal so uh, sticking with a number eight line, um, you can do that. If you go any bigger, um, which there's no need to go bigger, but if you was to go bigger, um, you're going to have a hard time getting in those brackets. So right here at the tank. <clears throat> What you're gonna want is a uh, a number eight ninety 
bulkhead and then on the other end of your line I just put a uh, a number uh, eight female JIC going to my bulkhead um, and then this required a I used just a three-quarter inch hole saw and it made it a made a perfect just whatever you buy I would measure just to, you know put some mics on it just to just to be sure um, measure twice cut once <laughs> but um what I did here is I pulled the two bolts bracket off that fill line kept this fill line intact you know remove these two zip ties off this wire uh, and I pulled this line off pop these four bolts out of the, the tank lid be careful pulling that lid up out of there. There's an O-ring up underneath it. That seat's in there. Don't let it fall in the tank uh, or lose it. And then what I did is I pulled that out. I put a lid or something here to keep trash out of my tank from falling in. And then, like I said, I pop, popped a hole in it. Uh, put that bulkhead in it. Try to get something that has a O-ring on, you know, on both sides. That way you can sandwich it. That way if fluids bouncing up your hydraulic fluid it's not going to leak um because there is a nut underneath this side on the back underneath that you know tightens of course tightens this bolt head down to this plate um this line called for uh 16 and a half foot but if i was to do it over again i believe i'd run 17 and a half added an extra foot or if not a, if not a foot and a half uh to that 16 and a half foot that way you can run it back this way, turn left, and run back those brackets, and then go up through your access hole. You know, your, your key thing is just making sure there's no pinch points, um, especially back here with a loader arm. Just check it all, uh, make sure it's there's no pinch points, it ain't closed off anywhere. Um, what I did on here uh, is I put some grease on top of this line, this new line, and then I shut the cab down and I just made sure there wasn't any transfer. There actually was a little, that factory hose right here is this mark, but there was a, um, there was a little bit of grease under here, but nothing concerning. I mean, this bulkhead, I mean, it's, if it's touching anywhere, it's touching right here on this hose. Um, the bulkhead sticks under those other 90s. So I'm not really concerned about that. While I had a cab up, I just went ahead and put some more weather stripping down right here, coming around. That way it just added, it needed to be done anyways, um, regardless to help keep dust and crap when I'm, when I'm mulching out of the cab. But um, anyways, like I said, I just, I wanted to make a short little video and on um, on this topic because I, I think it'll grow, it'll be a popular topic. Um, as people <clears throat> purchase these Shurex heads, uh, running on these Kubotas, and I, I, like I said, I think Bobcat as well. Um, take this steel tubing line, take it to your gasket store. That way they can <clears throat> match this, match this reducer up, and then they can give you a cap for that other number six line that was the original line. Um, that way you, you're keeping debris out of that line. That way if you ever go back to factory, say you want to cap it there, pull the line and put your steel tubing line back in, you can go back to factory and or put your whole new plate down there and like that hose was never there. But like I said, after speaking with Vic with Shearex, this is an upgrade. It's helping the machine regardless. So on any high flow, um, just getting the, getting the pressure out of that head um and uh and more volume of course so he he did tell me um if i ran the head factory with the factory case train i would blow a drive seal on his head in no time so he actually came down today and tuned the head of the machine we went over all the pressures uh very knowledgeable guy great customer service with Shurex. Um, this is my first head. Um, 
with knives. Uh, my other head was was a uh, trying to get over here where I can show it to you. My other head was an open drum with carbides. Um, so I was a little skeptical going to knives, but uh, after seeing some videos and talking to some guys that run it, I'm actually really excited. Um, it's got some cool features, that's for sure. Um, and there's statements that some guys are getting two, 200 to 400 on a set of knives, so that's really good. So I got a job coming up that's got a lot of locusts in it. And, It'll be a really good trial run. I'll get some videos and throw the drone up in the air and um, get the GoPro mounts up and take some good shots. So, but that's another video. I'll go over the head a little bit more, but this is more revolving. This video is more revolving around the actual machine and that case drain upgrade line or that case line, case drain line upgrade. So. Like I said, just want to make a quick little video. If you have any questions, just uh, just ask them in the comment section, and um, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.